Are you a hard worker? Hey there, everyone, and come on in to Breakfast at Tracy's for this Saturday edition. We are exploring truth. All the things the Bible says about this crucial topic. You probably have lots of people who have told you, I'm just telling you the truth. But are they really? I mean, they probably think they are. But how do you know? How do you know you know the truth? Well, today's lesson is going to address that. Paul is writing to Pastor Tim and has a word of advice regarding truth that he wanted to share. He says, Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. This verse was drilled into my head in my years in the children's program, Awana. Some of you might have heard of it. It stands for Approved Workmen Are Not Ashamed, based on this verse. The program involves a lot of scripture memorization, and I owe a lot of what I know from memory to those years regurgitating the juiciest bits of the Bible. Since we are looking this week at how we can be a purveyor of truth and not lies, this is a great text to end this week. There was a time not that long ago where a person would really only be exposed to preachers once per week. The rest of the week was spent with family on the farm. Pretty quiet. Today is much noisier. Television, podcasts, music streaming services, advertisements, news feeds, Social media platforms and several other things are all preaching at us, telling us what is moral, what is worthy, what is normal, what we should devote ourselves to, what we should be outraged about. Why am I telling you this? Because now more than ever, there is no way that a weekly 30-minute message and not even 5-minute daily messages like these can keep you anchored to the truth of what God has revealed to us. Work hard, Paul says. Give it effort. Give study your best. Don't just meander through a few verses occasionally. Dig in. Drill down. Get serious. Pick up a commentary. Look at other versions of scripture. Go to Right Now Media. Read some books on biblical topics. But study. Join a connect group. Study for the follower of Jesus does not stop upon conversion. Studying is a lifelong pursuit. Unfortunately, many Jesus followers get lazy in their habits. They snack on scripture instead of inhaling it. They sip it rather than guzzle. And the result is they end up being ashamed by not having answers or knowing how to find answers for people who are searching. They stagnate in their faith. They are not experiencing the voice of Christ speaking through his word, and so they are not being transformed by truth. Truth, Jesus said, sets us free. It sets us free to be what he designed us to be, fully reflecting the beauty and wonder of our creator as his image bearers. Truth unlocks doors. Truth opens the windows to bring in fresh breeze, but you have to work for it. God won't study for you. You won't be able to handle God's word unless you study. Paul is saying that truth won't wake you up every morning and offer you a cup of coffee. You have to go after it, work for it, hunger for it, and study hard. Let's pray. Our Father, some of us work really hard and study well, and we are reaping the benefits of knowing your story well. Others of us have never really picked up the habit of study. Would you help us to make study a priority? Would you help us to engage with the truth of your word in such a way that our eyes become more open to who you are and what you have done for us? May we experience you more as we study to see your truth, the real truth, the objective truth. Amen.
All right, Breakfast Club, here's your last question for the week. How much effort are you putting in to be a person who can correctly use God's word as ultimate and objective truth? I hope that question gives you lots to think about over the weekend, and I hope to see you again on Monday at Breakfast at Tracy's. Take care, everyone.